Hi there, this is Kevin Muldoon from KevinMuldoon.com. Today I'd like to show you how you can quickly find attachments in Gmail. Now if you use Gmail a lot, you're probably aware of quite a lot of the search operators you can use. On the support page for Google, you'll see quite a lot of them. There's, I think there's around two or three dozen different search operators. You can search by the sender, by the subject line, by file name, by stars. Um, there's a few date operators too, which we'll be talking about at the end. But primarily, we'll be t I'll be showing you how you can search through your all your emails and search for attachments. Now, the main one, the main search operator for doing that, is has attachment. You simply type that in has semicolon attachment and then click the search button. And that's going to show you every single email in your Gmail account that's got an attachment to it. So I think I've got around at least a thousand emails with attachments. So that will show you every single one. Now, obviously, it's going to take a lot of time to go through all that. So one of the good things about this search operator is that you can extend it and search for specific file types. So if I type in PDF at the end, it shows every single PDF document that's been sent to me via Gmail, which is quite useful. This works with any type of file type, so you could use doc or even zip. That's quite useful. Um, now, as you would expect, you can also search for the file name. So, take an example. The the ebook, the free ebook that I released recently. You can see it there the traits and habits of successful bloggers. Um, there's been a few people that have emailed me and they've said that they didn't receive it in their email account or they couldn't download it properly. So, for those people, what I've did is I've emailed the file directly to them. So, if I want to find out who exactly has received the file directly, then all I have to do is type in the file name and then click the search button. And I can see all the people that I've emailed directly with the search file name. As you can see that. Now, now you're not always going to know what the file name is. If you've got thousands of emails, you're not you're not going to remember what the file name is either. So what you can do is use wildcards. So a wildcard simply when you use an asterisk so it's just t star dot pdf and what that will do is that that will search for every single pdf document that begins with t so click on the search button and you can see it shows you more files and i can do that with anything i can p star it's pretty flexible for what you can do now, one of the other things that you can s you can use is the search operator size. Now, size lets you search by the size of an email. So you could put in size of five megabytes, and that shows you every single email that is above five megabytes in size. Now, there's a lot of benefits to this. Specifically, if you're searching for something specific and you know it's a big file, then you can quickly narrow it down to what files there are, but, but another reason is Google gives you 10 gigabyte free, which is quite a lot, but if you're emailing attachments frequently, then you might find that you'll start running out quickly. So what you can do is if, if you find yourself, I've, as you can see here, I've only used up 16%, 1.6 gigabytes on my 10, 10 gigabytes. However, if you find yourself running out, then what you can do is just type in size 20 megabytes and now as you can see I've only got three emails that are above 20 megabytes but if I had a lot more then what I could do is I could check every every attachment and I can either download it I can delete it or there's also an option to transfer it to Google Drive now another thing that you can do is now you see oh. now Another thing you can do is, is use the date options. Now, there's quite a few operators you can s search by date. I'll just search, um, here they are, these ones here. 
you can see them here. Now, there's six in total. Now, these ones are pretty useful, older than and newer than. Now, what you do is you type in, you need to use it in conjunction with the other search term. So, what you do is size one megabyte, and then I'll put in older than two years. So, anything that's older than two years. And that's narrowed it down, see 2011. Now you can you can increase that, put it to three years. Or I can do it even more now, change it to seven days. Now the other one, the same term, the newer than works the same way. So anything newer than a, a week. So I've only got one attachment in the last week. The other ones that you can use here are after and before. Now, they've got suggestions here, after and before here. I'll just copy that over for you. And maybe change the dates because they're a bit old. So what we've got here is the size one megabyte, anything that was after 16th of April, 2010 and before 18th of April 2012 and that's narrowed it down there now that, that that's that's really handy because if you're if you're searching for a, for an attachment and you know it's from a specific date then you can really narrow it down and you don't have to go through dozens and dozens and dozens of emails now there's quite the, I've really just touched upon it today but there's there's a lot you can really narrow everything down the more information you know about an email you're looking for, the more you can narrow it down and find it. But if you'd like to know more, please check out kevmuldoon.com forward slash find dash attachments dash gmail and scroll down you'll see there'll be a link at the bottom to this Google page. Um, I hope you find this useful. It's, it's pretty, you will find it pretty handy. It's, I, I use it from time to time. In fact, I used it last week because I was searching for an ebook that I, I purchased last year and I couldn't find it anywhere on my computer. I normally back up all my ebooks on Dropbox, but for some reason I couldn't find it. So I just, I used the asterisk actually, it was because it was a book on Twitter. So I used t star dot PDF and I eventually found it. And it's really handy. Uh, it's, it's something I recommend you noting down as you'll use it in the future. Well, I hope you find this useful and please drop by Kevin Muldoon leave a comment at the bottom. You'll see the article listed at the bottom of this video. Thank you.